It's okay. I guess I start these out with well, don't I? Well, what you see here is the layout for an interesting project. One that I probably should have gotten done quite a long time ago. But those two closed rods were hoping to get installed in there. And hopefully this works. Now I'm going to take a chance. Um, my stud finder is not telling me. I'm going to guess that when they drywalled the back of that, that they had uh, good nailers in the corners. And we're going to see if we can get some shelf brackets to fasten onto those. If you hear, see me getting out a bunch of toothpaste, you know that I decided that there's a good chance that I missed the stud with my screw. Let's see what happens here. Now, the top one, you see there's already a, a shelf board in there. Um, and you'll also see that there's wooden rod hangers there. Uh, that wooden rod over the years had enough weight on it that it decided it didn't want to play didn't want to play the game as nicely as what we were hoping it would. So, it's time for an upgrade. And let's see if we can get this done. Okay. This could get interesting, to say the least. I don't know if you can see what I'm fighting with here or not, but it's definitely a struggle. Uh, probably what I need to do is figure out a way to hold that thing straight against the wall. Let's see what that gives me. I went into wood. That's always good. Now then, the question here is, can I get, oh, I think I can. Those, went, those both went into wood. Cool. That helps. Okay. Now, I'm almost six foot tall. That rod's going to be up there. Uh, about six, three, six, four. So that's going to work out just fine. Uh, let me look here. Can you actually see? Oh, yeah. You can see what I've done. Okay. I guess I'm going to hope that they had that original shelf in their level. <laughs> in about 30 seconds here, it's going to be too late to worry about it, huh?
sure that's going in the wood. I have to play with this one a little bit. I want to put my uh, coats, heavier sweaters and that kind of sweatshirts, that kind of stuff in this closet. And so, yeah, it has to be, it has to be mounted fairly rigidly. Uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. I don't think it makes that much difference because it's probably not being done right to begin with. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near as convinced that this side went in the woods as what I was the other side. The other side, I have very little doubt at all of what it went in the wood. Yeah. I'm not liking this side. Fight with it here a little bit more. Yeah, that's... That's not in the wood. Which means I gotta find a stud over here. There's a stud clear over there. <sighs> yeah, it looks like we will be bringing out the toothpaste here. Fun. times where you wish things were better than what they are. There we go. We got it to come back out. Cool. Okay. I got three nails right here. One, two, three. I'm going to assume that those went into wood. I'm a brave man, aren't I? Uh, I don't know how brave I am, but I sure hope I can figure out how to juggle here. I think maybe I figured that out. get the bit turned in the right direction here. This is why the good guys know what they're doing use hooks on their belts to put their power you had into. I'm not that good. I'm trying to get that screw to start into the drywall enough to where the... Okay, I tell you what, I've made enough with an indent there that I think I'm pretty confident I can put this back onto this. I need to get some magnetic tips, I guess, for my uh, torch driver here. Yeah, that went into wood. That definitely went into wood. That's good. It's definitely crooked as all get out right at the moment, too. But I think that's going to work. Yeah, I was hoping to get those completely on the ends. Uh, I'll have to remember... to fill from the far wall from right to left. Yeah, that, that went into wood. That went into wood. We got one of them done. Let's see if we can make that pipe cross. Oh, way to go, Joe. You 
Should have known you were going to do that at some point. In case you didn't see what I did there, I just spilled my box of screws. Yay, raw me. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. That should hold coats. Now then, now I got a different issue because I got two more of those to hang. What I want to do is make this a double-decker closet. Now it's time to go get a ruler. Don't that sound like fun? Just in case you didn't see what I got there because I was, I was actually off a frame, that's what it looks like. I suppose I should put a level on that and see how close I am to being level. Uh, ah, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah. Yeah, we're about a half. Well, part of that could be the brackets themselves. Yeah, it's close enough that I'll be I'll be able to utilize it. It's not perfect by any means, but on the other hand, neither am I. So let's go ahead. Let's go get a measuring stick. Okay. Here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure from that crossbar back up to the um, back down to the floor. And then I'm going to split the difference for the other rail. Standing back here, you know, just looking at that, that, you know, as far as the levelness of the rod, that doesn't look bad at all. Um, again, as long as I pull it from right to left, I shouldn't have to worry about tipping stuff off of there. Um, and away we go. Okay, from the floor... To the rail is no. Oh, it's a long 77, 77 and a half. 77 divided by two is what? 30, 38? Yeah, 38. So I want the, um, I want this thing of 38 inches up from the bottom. Let me go get it. Okay. Let's lock our ruler here. About 43 inches. And let's put a mark here. This is why you don't buy cheap rulers, too. Come on. This is supposed to be one of the auto-locking ones, right? And it's supposed to always lock by itself. Okay, so if I do 38 and a half inches, okay, that's 38 and a half inches. If I do another 38 and a half inches, That's pretty close to right there. Now then. Oh, yeah. Fun stuff. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this to 38 inches. Uh, yeah, then. Actually, going to put that above the 38 inch mark because this comes out and bends down. Should be able to work that out. Can you 
you see my 38 inch mark there? That's my 38 and a half inch mark there. Okay. This is a juggling act here. But we shall win. figured something out. Okay. That's one. Let's see if we can figure out how to get the other one in there. Yeah, that looks better as I'm standing up than what it does. Looking at it from up close. Yeah, I'm not going to put it, be able to put anything very long on the bottom here. But that's all right. That'll give me a little bit of extra length for the stuff I want to put on top. So we're not going to complain. Okay, that's my mark. I'm probably the reason somebody decided that, that they needed torque to get screws in construction. Yeah, I think we're okay with that one. convinced I'm not convinced those two went into wood let's see if I can figure out why oh that was almost a disaster That joist is level. I should be right on. Did I go into wood or not? From the uh, Level is telling me I'm right on. I 
I'm not convinced. Let me uh, go get a screwdriver and see what this feels like. Yeah. Oh, dumb dumb. I went and got the wrong torch driver bit. Be right back. I got a Phillips instead of a Torx. I'll be right okay. back. Okay, I now have my T25. Yeah, I don't think that hit wood at all. Now I got to figure out why it, the top one feels like maybe it just barely hit wood. Let's move that over to the right a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. It did not happen correctly. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yep, this is going to be a toothpaste day. Okay. I've had wars. Yeah, that hit wood. hit wood good deal now here's what I don't like about these particular shelf brackets is they don't have a place where I can draw another hole and put another screw in there I'd like to have one more screw in that but that's gonna have to work as it is and we're going to have to hope and wish that it's never a problem. I don't think these things will be any problem at all. But you never know. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not level, but I think it's going to work. Um, unless I get back here and sight it and think that definitely it needs some needs some work. Let me see what else we can do here. Okay, let's begin to stock that and see how it works here. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that's going to work. Let me scrunch this down just a little bit. And let me tip it this way just a little bit. I 
so far so good. Let's see what else we get here. I think that's going to work. Yeah, I think that's going to work. We'll just keep going here for a minute. I've got a bunch of stuff here I want to get out of hung up anyway. So this would be as good as time any to get her done. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to put sweatshirts on either on either one of those. And be good to go. <laughs> behind you here and tearing into a brand new box of 50 plastic hangers. <laughs> I thought I thought I had more set out stage ready to go here, but yeah, obviously I'm not as good as I thought I was. Let's see here. Every coat has a top and a bottom. Hi, I think I finally found the top. What I tend to do, and I did this last year, what I tend to do with jackets is I tend to wait until stores begin to close about, about this time of the year. And then I usually end up getting some pretty nice jackets, a fairly reasonable price. However, I gotta confess, this next one, I paid full price for. But I love it, it's Carhartt. They didn't have this red line very long, or at least not in the store that I shop locally. And uh, I actually ended up at one point having three of these. Um, I bought one because I liked it. I'm not sure that hanger is going to be big enough to, uh, substantial enough to hang on to those heavier jackets. That's, I think, is probably the heaviest jacket I have. But, uh, yeah. Cool. I think that's going to work. I think. And then what I can do is I can use that space down here at the end. I can use that for empty hangers. That'll work, too. That'll give me a lot here. It's right at 40 inches of hanging area. Yeah, that's right at 40 inches of hanging area. It's a little bit more. And so that's 80 inches total between the two rods. That should work out pretty good. Well, how about that, guys? I think I've got that up good enough. I'm going to call this job quits. And uh, that's nice because I got stuff that needs to get hung there. That'll work out really, really nicely. Appreciate you paying attention. And yes, that is a Cubs jacket down there. That's a, that's, that's a replica jacket that uh, my sister gave to me. The story of that jacket is, is that her mother-in-law bought it because she was a Cubs fan. And then as she was entering into her last days, she... Uh, Decided that her son, my sister's husband, should have it. And he had it for, oh, I don't know, what, 10, 15 years or so. And then he he passed away. And my, my sister decided I should have it. That is not my rod's fault. That's that's uh, too much weight on that, that particular hanger. I'm going to have to get some other hangers, it looks like. But anyway, going back to that... That's, you know, that, that, that jacket's probably close to 35 years old now. 
but it's still in almost perfect shape. Uh, it's only been to the cleaners one time in its life, and it doesn't need to go back again. I don't wear it very often, but when I do, oh, I'm a lifelong Cubs fan. You can blame me for that some other time. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. I like it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the journey. I'm going to be glad to have this up and functional. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, have a great day. Tell somebody else that they should be watching. Have them subscribe while they're at it, too. That'll work. Thanks, guys. See you on next video.